Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green, manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly's. Today, taking on, I don't know who. I'm solving your problems, though. Alex has a great problem. Donated to the Project for Awesome. Thank you, Alex, and has a fantastic problem. My problem is that I am five years overdue sending a secret Santa gift to my then-infant cousin. I want to atone for breaking this sacred holiday pact, but I hold myself to high gift-giving standards and am struggling to come up with the perfect present. All right, first off, I don't really understand how this Secret Santa situation worked because usually, in my experience, when there's a Secret Santa situation, everybody gets somebody, right, Meredith? Like, you get the infant cousin, and but doesn't the infant cousin have to get someone? So my first question is, what did the infant cousin... Why Again, Mr. Managerino's hands are falling in. We're still in second place, by the way. Mr. Managerino's hands are falling into his uh, jacket. Very, very distressing to watch that happen. It's like that part of Back to the Future where uh, the photograph starts to disappear. Anyway, I don't understand how your infant cousin was able to participate in the Secret Santa because I've met infants, Alex. I've, I've raised two of them, and in my experience... Infants are terrible present givers. Also, children are not great present givers. It takes a long time to develop an ability to give a good present. So I think there's a perfect... I, I, I don't even know that you have a problem here because I think you might totally be in the clear because as far as I can tell, unless your infant cousin has gotten a really good Secret Santa gift in the intervening five years for whoever your infant cousin had in Secret Santa, I, I don't see an issue. Then, secondly, there's the fact that uh, children, especially really little... Oh, my God. Obviously, I didn't want to pass there. Especially really little children are, like, they're just terrible to buy things for uh, because they grow out of everything quickly. Like, they grow out of clothes quickly, but they also grow out of, like, toys quickly. Like, when you're two, the toys that you play with are bear absolutely no resemblance to the toys that you play with when you're four. What? What? What did I do wrong? I, I've been unjustly maligned, but it's fine. George Long's going to take care of it. He's very focused. He's very, yep. Okay, look on both sides, and then we're going to walk back. We've got our tallest players in there. Trotter's very tall. I met him recently. He was like 6'7". Made me feel like a tiny person. We just got to, let's, let's make this. I'm going to put another person in the wall. And I'm going to jump. Dude, I actually think the person I put in the wall helped. I feel like a genius right now. Probably didn't help, but I, feel, I still feel like a genius. My favorite thing about FIFA 18 is how the magic white line slowly disappears over the course of a few minutes. So I'm going to let them have a little bit of uh, possession so that we can watch the magic white line disappear. Um, this, a, a controversial decision by me. If we, Oh my God, we're going to give up a goal because nope, nope, nope. We had long. Can we just let's, can we watch the magic line disappear? It's actually not doing a good job of disappearing. I mean, EA, you've got a lot of work to do if you want to be, if you want to have a really realistic soccer game. Uh, right. The other thing, right. So I don't think like the, the quality of the present you, oh God. You get a kid really matters. Thank you, George Long, once again for saving our butts. Because they're just going to grow out of it. In a way, you've, You've done something brilliant already. Oh, it's off the post. We are, I mean, getting played off the pitch again as we have, as we did in our last game against Plymouth Argyle. This is very frustrating to watch. Um, this is the best team in League One, so maybe that's why they're so good. But man, are they good! But they still have not scored. So technically, it is still tied, even though I think we all know they are winning. So we're just gonna try to keep. We're just gonna for now. We're just going to try to keep going. That's not that's good. And then that's not bad. I mean, the nice thing is we do have some fluid movement coming forward. We are going to have to cut back there. What you're going to do in the end here, by the way, is you're going to get your five-year-old cousin a present, and they're going to be so much more excited than they would have been when they were in an infant anyway, because when you get an infant a present, they don't even know what it is. They don't understand the idea of presents. I used to, like, get... Henry and Alice something every time I would travel for work because I felt guilty, you know, uh, about leaving them. And so I would come back and I would give them a present. And they didn't even know what a present was, right? They would just be like, oh, like a new artifact has entered into my life. They would have no, like, no awareness whatsoever that this was something that I had done in, as an act of generosity. So I, I, I just think, like, 
you're you're good is the show. I've been fouled. Oh, okay, this is all right. I gotta take off the hat. This is a real opportunity to score from a free kick, which I never do. I just gotta focus. I, all right, we have a real, we have a proper opportunity here. We've got other John Green, who's a reasonably good free kick taker. <sighs> just breathe out. Oh, there it goes down the magic stuff again. That's good. All right. Okay. Just be calm. Be calm, John Green. And just take it up and over the wall. Up and over the wall. Up and over. Oh! Oh, it saved. It didn't go near the wall because I was aiming in the wrong direction. But other than that, it was perfect. Uh, but it was saved. But I'm still really proud of myself for getting a shot on goal. Like, that's so much better than my usual free kick taking that I feel immensely, immensely pleased. I think you should get your five-year-old... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's a great pass! What, 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 what? What, what happened? What went wrong? What could have possibly gone wrong? Was I offside? Oh, by inches. Oh, man. Okay. So you're going to get your five-year-old cousin a present. And the good news is that now, at least, your five-year-old cousin is old enough at this point to understand that they're getting a present and to understand how cool you are. So instead of this whole thing having been completely wasted on an infant that was only going to play with whatever, like, teething thing you got them for six months anyway before it would languish forever and then you keep trying to throw it away but the kid is like no you can't throw away my teething thing I remember teething on it and I'm like you can't form permanent memories when you're eight months old there is no way that you remember playing with this no you can't throw it away it's so special to me you're not gonna have to go through that which is great sorry I've been having a difficult time uh teaching my children about the impermanence of goods uh and you can't you can't like you can't really recycle that stuff you know you can give it to friends if they have kids but you can't like give it to like a secondhand store because you know it was used it was in a child's mouth a lot for months so i don't know anyway that's not really your problem because smartly you didn't get your infant cousin a present now you have a great opportunity you got a five-year-old now the great thing about Five, is that I think it's like the first age where you can get them a present that will have a reasonable, could have a reasonable amount of longevity. Uh, on, on, on replay, it becomes obvious that the extra player in the wall did not help at all. Uh, it's nil-nil against Charlton. This is a big game for us because if we win this game, we go into first place. Uh, and if we lose this game, we s probably stay in second place. And I, I have to say, Charlton are very, very good. They used to play in the Premier League, and it shows. They are, they are definitely the class of League One right now uh, on, this, on this particular version of FIFA. So I'm frankly delighted to still be in the game. That's a really good tackle by me. I mean, people say I suck at FIFA, and I do. But that was a properly good tackle. And then John Green with a nice run. And then he's going to try to pass it to his husband. It's a, not a terrible ball. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Oh, it's frustrating. Uh, yeah, I mean, you've got a lot of facial symmetry, which makes me kind of predisposed to thinking that you're good. But that wasn't good, if, we, if we're being honest. So there's a certain amount of tension there between the quality I expect from number 13 and the quality I receive from number 13. Uh, and I know lots of people, uh, by the way, want to see the player names where my face is. I'm sorry. You get my face, at least for now. We might change it later. But right now, you get my face, whether you like it or not. Five is an age where you can get them something that they're still going to play with in, like, two or three years. It's the first age where it stops being, like, you know, a lack of interest in new toys every, you know, every year or two. So I would say the first thing I would say, other than like a stuffed animal, I mean, a stuffed animal is always great because like this, you, if they don't have a lot of, if they don't, if they only have a couple stuffed animals, a stuffed animal is always great because kids, even I don't, gender aside, I think kids love stuffed and my, in my experience, kids love stuffed animals because that you you can play infinitely with them. You can do a lot of imaginative play with them, but you can also do, um, uh, but you can also cuddle with them at night. 
and it's just nice. It's just nice to have something to hold on to at night because, you know, life is scary, especially when you're a, te uh, a child. Like, it's really... If you think about what it's like to be a kid, like everything is so new and so weird. And also you're aware of the fact that there are like things your parents aren't telling you uh, that are that are horrible. And you feel like that, that there are these like secrets. I'm taking John Green off for his own protection uh, and bringing on Lyle Taylor. He just was starting to get too tired. And I'm very, very, very scared of a John Green injury. Um, we just we, it's something we can't have. So hopefully Lyle Taylor will come on and score a goal. But if past results are any indication, that won't happen. It's John Green. It's John Green. Oh, God. I just I did the stupid thing that I always do. Sorry. So stuffed animals, that's my first thing. I, I don't think that you need to, like, get the perfect present, okay? Like, it doesn't... Oh, no! Was that offside? Was it offside? Was it offside? Was it offside? It was offside! Yes! Yes! It was offside! Huzzah! That is a relief. Okay, it's nil-nil in the 78th minute. We've got a chance, and that's all you can ask for in this game is, is an opportunity, and we have an opportunity to win the game. We're going to do some patient build-up play. We don't do that enough. We're going to patiently build up. The other thing I would say is Lego. I, I don't think you can go wrong with Lego because Lego can be played with and built and unbuilt and rebuilt and you can have a Lego city and it's just, it's so fun and it keeps being fun. So like Henry started playing with Lego when he was five. Alice is just starting to play with them now and they still like, I, I think they'll play with them for a long time. So that's, I think a good, oh, it's gotta be. It's John Green. Oh, it's off the post. It's devastating. John Green, no. Okay, it's a corner kick. Wow. Wow. High drama. High, high drama. What happened? It just, it went, oh, I mean, he was trying to like chip the keeper or something. It went off the top of the post. All right, let's see if we can score a goal from a corner kick. We can't, we never do. Okay. All right, let's try that. It's pretty good. Oh, okay. Well, that obviously was a bad strategy. And now, now Charlton are on the run. So that's my two things. I like Lego, a Lego version of whatever they're into. You know, if they're into like boats, get them a Lego boat. If they're into cars, get them a Lego cars. If they're into Frozen, get them Frozen Lego. That's the great thing about Lego too, is they got all the stuff. They don't have Pokemon. I wish they had Pokemon Lego. But other than that, they got pretty much everything you could want. So I'm going to say you're going to get a stuffed animal. If you want to be like a, if you really feel bad about this fa Secret Santa failing thing, then you're going to get a stuffed animal and a Lego. But my my other point here would be, and this is, this is you're not going to like this, I don't think, but wait till Christmas. Wait till, there's no, uh, there, you don't, you, you've waited five years. You can wait another few months. I would wait till Christmas if it were, if it were me. But I also, I don't know. I, I, oh God. Okay. Yeah. I would wait till Christmas and I would get, I mean, if you're feeling generous, both yeah, I'm being fouled. I've, oh my God. I was not allowed to roll. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. They, they were fouled. Okay. Well, we're going to have, this is, this is, this is not, this is not great. Um, this is not great, but we're going to do our best. I, I'm doing the thing where I, well, well, it didn't go in. That's the important thing. And it looks like it's going to be a nil nil draw against Charlton, which at this point is the best result I think we could have hoped for. I, I mean, obviously we hit the post, so we might have won the game, but we didn't. So there you go. Nil-nil draw against Charlton. I can't say I'm unhappy with that. We're away from home. They're the best team in the league. They look upset, uh, so I feel pretty good about it. Stuffed animal and George Long, just be calm, okay? Just, just chill out. Stuffed animal and Lego, I solved your problem. Thank you for donating to the Project for Awesome, Alex, uh, and everyone else. Best wishes.